Hi, just a quick video. I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of England into your homes. Um, I just wanted to talk about this Indian variant just a little bit because um, yesterday I heard that um, Bedford is, we're being warned when an advisory is going out that people in Bedford shouldn't leave Bedford to come anywhere else and people shouldn't go to Bedford. I mean, what does that tell people? After Boris says there's not going to be any lockdowns, um, everybody can go back to normal, all of a sudden they're saying, oh, well, it's not law, you know, it's it's just an advisory, it's just a guidance. But how do people feel when you're telling them that this Indian variant is, come, is in Bedford and Bedford, they can't go anywhere? After you allowed 20,000, goodness knows how many planes, I think it's 103 planes, into the bloody country after the um after they knew about the pandemic but you know what my beef is is that they lump everybody in the same basket now they've come to Luton and now we've got some somebody sent me this video it's, I'm, I'm just going to show you a very short part of it. so really good so thank you to hold on a minute how are we doing guys how are you, how are you? How are you? busy yeah. it's all right not too bad yeah it's all right yeah good, man. thank you at Luton Indoor Market, COVID marshals ensure precautions are taken. It's been a tough 12 months for many of the traders here. These new measures, plastic sheeting, masks and QR codes, help prevent them having to be relit. Starting uh, in the beginning a little bit, do we find it like a little Anyway, my point is, now they come to Luton. Oh, Luton is now... The Indian variant. Why are they call it, it, calling it the Indian variant in bloody Luton? Why? Because they know that Luton has a large Asian population. But um, Indians are the least of the population. Indians are 10,000. That was at Census 2011. At Census 2011, um, Pakistanis were 29,000. And Bangladeshians were 13,606. So you've got nearly 40,000 of Pakistanis and Bangladeshians and only 10,000, as of 2011, Indians. But it's the same thing that they do with black people, you know, with the Caribbean. Everybody's a bloody Jamaican, whether they come from St. Vincent, whether they come from Barbados, whether they come from Trinidad, whether they come from Guyana, they're all... Jamaicans, you know, as far as the outside world or the white world is concerned. And they're all they're all Jamaicans, whether they're African, wherever they come from. The thing is, is that as long as somebody looks Indian, you can have Kenyan Indians, you can have Trinidadian Indians, you can have Guyanese Indians. But as far as they're concerned, they're Indians from India, even though they're, they're from Pakistan or Bangladesh. So, you know, it's always being taken out of context. They come over, they come and make these random statements about um, Indian variant. They've gone to all these, country, all these areas where they see an Asian um, appearance or Asian presence, and they just call them all Indians, the same way they used to call Indians Pakis back in the day. You know, it's not politically correct now, but that's what they used to do. Everybody was a Paki. Now, everybody is an Indian. Just They just do things to suit their bloody narrative, and it's so annoying. Anyway, I've said my piece. I've had my little rant. I've got to go now. Bye-bye.